Good evening, my dear students. I am your doctor, Anand Lakshmi Sandip, with one more important topic from community medicine, that is, role of halves in hypertension. You might have seen this topic in non-communicable disease chapter under the heading hypertension. So you know a lot about hy hypertension, but few children are having a misconception about this rule of halves. So what is rule of halves? Let's see in today's class. I would just tell you what is rule of halves, what are the different components of this rule of, half, rule of halves. So let's see the diagram. All of you might be aware of this diagram. So if you can follow, there are nine important components. I hope you will follow this diagram. It is available in any of the textbooks of preventive and social medicine or community medicine. So please follow the numbers which, have, which we have given here. So there are nine important components in rule of halves which is suitable to explain hypertension. So let me tell you what are these numbers first. Number one means whole community. Number two, normotensive subjects. Number three, hypertensive subjects. Number four, undiagnosed hypertension. Number five, diagnosed hypertension. Number six, diagnosed but untreated cases of hypertension. Number seven, diagnosed and also treated cases of hypertension. Number eight, diagnosed, treated but inadequately treated cases of hypertension. And number nine is they are diagnosed they are treated, also they are adequately treated cases of hypertension. So if you consider these nine things, they are in half, half and half and half and half. So if you take number one as the whole community, okay, this is the whole community, half of the community is normotensive. Then what is this half? This half is a group of hypertensive subjects. Now, if you get into the circle of this hypertensive subject, again it can be divided into 50 and 50. What is this out of 50? They are undiagnosed cases of hypertension. Means they have hypertension, but you wouldn't have diagnosed hypertension in them. Now, what is this 5 then? They are actual diagnosed cases of hypertension. Now, let's get inside this diagnosed cases of hypertension. Again, it is divided into two, 50 out and 50 in. So what is this outside one? Outside one is they are diagnosed, but they are not taking any treatment for hypertension. I mean to say diagnosed and untreated cases of hypertension. What is this inner one now? It is they are diagnosed and also they are treated cases of hypertension. Now let's get inside the circle of treated cases of hypertension. So again it is divided into two halves, two that is halves. What are these halves? After thing is they are diagnosed cases of hypertension, they are treated cases of hypertension but they are inadequately treated means they are getting some treatment but not the prompt treatment yet. Now what is this innermost circle? That is nothing but they are diagnosed cases of hypertension, they are treated cases of hypertension, yes they are also adequately treated cases of hypertension. So this is nothing but rule of halves. So what is rule of halves? There is a whole community there if there is there are half halves what are these halves they are normotensive subjects hypertensive subjects now let get let's get inside this component of hypertensive subjects again there are halves what are these halves undiagnosed cases of hypertension and diagnosed cases of hypertension now let's get into diagnosed cases of hypertension again there are halves that is diagnosed and treated cases of hypertension which is inside and diagnosed and which are not treated cases of hypertension which is there in the outer part of the circle. Now let's get to the interior okay. So we are into diagnosed and treated cases of hypertension stage now. Inside that again there are halves that is diagnosed treated inadequately and the innermost thing is 
treated adequately after diagnosis. So if you look into the whole thing, you can see that among the population who are having hypertension, how many are taking, how many are diagnosed, how many are taking treatment and among people who are taking treatment, how many are treated adequately. So you can see that among this many hypertensives, only these many are adequately treated. So in the whole burden of hypertension, the problem is not just with identification of hypertension cases, but it is also with giving treatment yes also prompt treatment so this is what you should remember in rule of halves so with this if you go to uh, explain it if there are total if there is total hypertensive population removing the general community 50 percent are aware that they have hypertension and among those people only 50 percent are diagnosed with hypertension among those only 50 percent are treated and among those 50 percent who are treated only 50 percent of them are adequately treated and another 50 percent are not getting adequate treatment so this is what is rule of halves in hypertension so i would like to summarize now so rule of halves is nothing but a very important part in knowing the burden of hypertension in a community and not just hypertension also its identification and treatment and if you look into the rules of half there are nine important components whole community normotensive subjects hypertensive subjects undiagnosed hypertension diagnosed hypertension diagnosed but untreated cases of hypertension diagnosed and treated cases of hypertension inadequately treated cases of hypertension and diagnosed and adequately treated cases of hypertension so there is a whole community okay these are the people who are normotensive they do not have hypertension once they have hypertension what are, what are you going to see you are going to see whether they are diagnosed cases of hypertension which is there inside this five or whether they are undiagnosed cases of hypertension which is shown here with the squares now you see among the diagnosed cases of hypertension who are treated and who are left untreated and among who are treated adequately treated are the one who fall in the small range and, and inadequately treated are the one who come here in the outer circle of this uh, adequately treated so if there is total hypertension population 50 percent are aware of having hypertension 50 percent are diagnosed to have hypertension 50 percent are treated and 50 percent are adequately treated of hypertension so now i think you got to know what is the burden of hypertension how many are really identified and how many are really treated and how many are really promptly treated so this is the actual uh, different there is definitely actual difference here there are lot lot many studies done using a uh, rule of halves um, to study the hypertension burden hypertension treatment consideration and also IR diagnosis consideration and a uh, few have found that application of this rule of halves is really useful to study the burden of this hypertension in in a community and uh, for you dear students this can come as a five mark question and also one or two mark question in your exams so that's all about rule of halves thanks for your patience hearing